My next guest in the author's studio is someone I think you could truly call an international author. Professor Brian Stoddart lives in Queenstown on the South Island of New Zealand, actually one of my favorite cities in the world. And he writes about characters in Madras in India. You're gonna find him engaging. Just keep writing, I think, because certainly for me, uh, the more I write, the better I get, I think. Probably the last one, uh, which is everybody's answer, I think. And it's basically because I think, as a novel, it's the best one I've done. Um, but that's after something like, I don't know, 17 non-fiction books and a couple of other novels and a lot of journalism. So I, I do try to think that um, whatever I wrote last was probably close to the best thing I've done. Wishful thinking, probably. Mostly at the moment at a, at a small writing desk that looks out over Lake Wakatipu and towards the uh, fabulous, remarkable mountains. Most, I'm not one of those people who needs to be in a dark corner in order to not to be distracted. Once I get going, I'm focused. Are you a writer? <laughs> because um, sometimes it's fairly obvious and the other one that I really find amusing is that, um, you know, oh, uh, you write on India, so you're interested in India. Uh, yes, uh, that happens a lot. Um, back in the old days, when I was, a, I was writing a lot on sport history, someone said, well, you're interested in, you're interested in, in sport then. And I, my response to that was, yes, well, what would your question be if I was writing on prostitution in 19th century England? Um, you know, the statement of the obvious. No, not really. Uh, I usually try and start first thing in the morning so I don't get distracted by other things and then I just move on from there. So normally once I'm going, people around me tend to leave me alone because they know they're not going to get any response. I always wanted to be a writer and in a sense I was because while I started life as an academic, I, I wrote a lot and I tried to write for much wider audiences than academics normally write for. Um, and then I did a lot of journalism as well, uh, mainly on sport and sports culture. Well, the first one was easy. I sat down and wrote it. Uh, but because it's a series, I've discovered it's becoming slightly more difficult because I've got to remember what was in the previous ones. So I'm becoming a bit more of a planner and less of a panster, but I'd still prefer to sit down and just let it go. Oh, several. I mean, one is an odd one, which is CLR James Beyond the Boundary, which was a fantastic cricket book uh, about the West Indies, but it was actually more a philosophy of West Indian life and politics, and that oh. to me just had so much richness under it. Uh, in crime novels, I, being a Kiwi, I started with Nio Marsh and worked up from there to everybody else. Um, and I suppose all of the classic stuff around um, all of that, and at this conference has been fantastic to meet people like Walter Mosley, who I've read for years, and, and, and um, this guy called uh, Peter James. Thank you, Brian Stoddard. It's been an honor to have one of my first Kiwis in the author's studio. Stay tuned.